1968, the year that America's youth brought the Vietnam War home, to the streets, to the college campus, to the forefront of the reluctant American conscience. It was the war, but it was also the assassination of Robert Kennedy, the dashed hopes of presidential underdog Gene McCarthy, the bloodshed at the Chicago Convention. They came back to campus in the fall of 1968 after a long, hot summer. The fall of 1968 was a, a time when um, many of us were going through a process of, of self-examination, of questioning. Um, we came back to campus with a lot of doubts about why we were in college, um, um, why we as the sons and daughters of um, relatively affluent uh, middle-class population were not uh, fighting a war in Vietnam that our poorer and uh, uh, less educated peers were, um, wondering why most of the world viewed us as an enemy as a result of our involvement in Vietnam, and questioning what role we were going to play in society in general as a result of all those pressures. It was a traumatic time to be sure, but for the students of the 60s, it was an exciting time as well, an experience never to be duplicated. An experience that has not been shared by students on campus a decade later. I think they know a lot about what went on 10 years ago. I'm not sure how much they care. I'm not sure how familiar they are with the specific issues to this campus. Um, I think generally when you talk about 1968 and riots or demonstrations, students here, especially the younger students, the freshmen coming in now, think automatically of Berkeley okay, or, or uh, different schools. I don't think they're quite as aware of the things that were going on on this campus. Compared to the University of California at Berkeley, it was relatively calm. Um, compared to um, um, most of the other colleges in this area, I suspect it was rather troubled. We had uh, numerous demonstrations, um, uh, boycotts of classes, uh, um, even some, some sit-ins, I guess. Um, um, but I think that generally the tone of, of activity on this campus was more one of, of um, uh, looking inward, self-examination, and less one of being willing simply to go out and uh, um, parade and in other superficial ways uh, uh, demonstrate our concern. As UCSD student body president in 1968, Tom Shepard was involved in campus politics through the toughest times and says he and his classmates were marked by the experience. John Jenkel is student body president at UCSD this year. A senior majoring in political science, he is concerned about the lack of concern among his classmates. That's one of the things that I find to be a little bit of a problem on this campus is the fact that competition among students is so stiff that oftentimes they don't have time for a lot of other thoughts to cross their minds and a lot of uh, periods of self-discovery that otherwise they might. Um, I think they're very inner-directed instead of outer-directed towards problems in the world. Oh, I think very much so. I think, uh, again, it comes back to the facet of competition and the fact that students here are competing with the people they live with, with the people they run into on campus, grade-wise, and um, I think they have little time for outside issues, aside from their school. Today I see a campus where, um, because of economic pressures uh, and, and social pressures, students are, in a very real sense, desperate to achieve, to um, perform well academically, to get into professional schools, to get a job. There's a lot of concern that borders on um, hysteria, I think, um, in terms of finding employment, surviving in our society. And so to some extent, the time, uh, the time to examine oneself and one's role in society is just not there for those people. And you can't blame students, I think, for, for directing their energies on themselves first and on society or on their friends or on whoever second. That's that's the mood of the campus, I think. Would another Vietnam, another national crisis, fire up today's students with the anger and outrage of a decade ago? On a sunny autumn day on a peaceful San Diego campus, it seems unlikely. But slightly more than 10 years ago, it no doubt seemed unlikely then. Carol Kendrick, News 8, La Jolla.